Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and I sell pre-owned clothing, shoes, and accessories on places like eBay and Poshmark. Today is Friday, January 5th. It is 7 a.m. Good morning, good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. I figured I would bring you along today to pull my sales with me because I have about 15 sales to pull from yesterday. Also, I plan on doing a Q&A type video where I also show you my inventory system and answer some Q&A questions that people have asked. I'm not sure if that will be in this video. It might be a separate video depending on how long this footage is, but let's just dive right into it and pull my sales from yesterday. <music> So the first item is a Brooks Brothers pinstripe button-up shirt. I don't pick up Brooks, Br Brooks Brothers button-up shirts anymore, button-down shirts. This actually sold this morning for $14 on Poshmark. So let's pull that. That is in bin V. And I believe it is this one. Let me just double check the size. Yep, that is it. So this basic pinstripe button-down I found a bunch of these at a thrift store for a dollar almost a year ago and have sold about half of them. But again, I don't pick these up anymore because they don't go for a lot of money and they tend to sit. The next thing is right up here. It is a single stitch t-shirt that I recently got from the bins. This sold for $15 on Poshmark as well. I paid only a little over a dollar for it and I only had it for about two months. And it's right on top. And that shows you that I haven't had it long. So again, single stitch, which means it is a vintage t-shirt. That means it has one stitch line on the sleeve here and on the bottom. I do believe I showed this in a haul, but it's Ducks Boating Ink. Felt this graphic was pretty cool. Again, $15 on Poshmark. The next item is in bin P. It is by the brand Leonard Romano. It is a merino wool sweater. This brand is a new to me brand I picked up like two months ago. I actually have another piece by this brand in my closet and this sold for, this piece sold for $25.88 on eBay, which was my full asking price after my 35% off discount that I have running right now. Right now on eBay for the next like two weeks, I have my entire store set to 35% off, which has really been bringing a lot of traffic. So let's pull this sweater. Hopefully I have it for some reason when I sold it, I felt like I already sold it before. Hopefully that's not the case though. Success. I'm not going to unfold it, but I will pop up the screenshot of the sale for you guys. If you ever see this brand, you know what? I will unfold it to show you guys. This sold relatively quickly. And his pieces seem to all go for $25 to $35. Next, we're pulling from here. A J. Jill Pointel cardigan sold for $14 on eBay. I've had this for a while. Would not pick it up. Just kidding, that piece is not in Bin J, but there's something else in Bin J that we do need. So I'm gonna pull that a while. And that is a Tommy Hilfiger bomber jacket. Let me find it here. Tommy Hilfiger bomber jacket. The, a buyer sent me a $15 offer on eBay and I accepted. And then Bin K, there we go. So it is a point tail knit cardigan, $14, I believe, on eBay. And then down here in bin N, we need a charter club plaid skirt. Buyer sent me a $20 offer on eBay yesterday, and I accepted. Got this from the bins again. Pretty much all of my inventory I get from the bins, which means that I pay only a little over a dollar for it. And when somebody sends me an offer, I'm likely to accept. This next piece is actually a really quick sale as well. Recently got it from the bins. The buyer paid $17.28. I'm assuming that's with the 35% sale that I'm running on eBay. 
I believe I showed this in a haul as well. I got this less than a month ago at the bins. Super happy to see it go so fast. The next piece is by the brand Denim and Supply by Ralph Lauren. This brand used to do so much better for me. I saw it sitting right up here. This is a dress. I've only had this for a few months as well, but this only sold for $12 on Poshmark. The buyer statement offer and I accepted. The next piece is also a relatively quick flip. A vintage Lauren Ralph Lauren women's blouse with the silk trim. Kind of like a sweater blouse, a lightweight sweater material. That's in this bin. Let me try to find it. I'm starting to get worried a second, but I found it. So stay tuned. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a Q&A either at the end of this video or in the next video. Somebody also asked me to go over my inventory system, which I planned on doing anyways. I really just haven't gotten around to it. So I plan, plan on doing that as well. That probably will be its own video. So stay tuned for that if you want to see how I organize my inventory, how I know where to pull from when something sells. I will go over my whole system with you. The next piece is by the brand East Side West Side. Was a really quick flip. I do remember showing this in a haul. Sold probably within under a month. I would not pick up this brand again. It did not have good comps. I did not look up comps before I got home. But again, it sold really fast. So I'm really grateful for that. Even though it only sold for $10 on eBay, I paid a little over a dollar for it. So I still made a profit on it. And then the next piece I've actually had for about a year now. I used to pick up these pieces all the time by American Eagle, but they just tend to sit for me. But this piece did sell finally last night for $29 on Poshmark. Look at this Nordic moose print sweater. I just love this. So $29. I cannot remember off the top of my head how much I had into it. I don't think I got this piece from the bin, so I probably had around $3 into this piece. This next piece is an Express a Corduroy Blazer. I definitely could have gotten more for this piece. I've had this for about two months, got it at the bins again. Comps were showing right around $40 to $50, but somebody sent me a $25 offer on Poshmark, which I happily accepted. I'm glad to get pieces out of my store, especially if I'm still 15 times in my money, which is the case with this. We only have a couple more pieces. We have a sweater, which is one of my favorite thrift finds ever. Sold so fast. We have a hat and then we have a postable. So let's grab the sweater. Right in this bin, you guys probably will remember this if you watch my hauls. But this chicken sweater sold. The buyer got such a great deal on this. I adore this piece. Pretty sure it's handmade, but the buyer paid $32.88 for this piece. I had it listed around $50. So they got it for the 35% off discount that I'm running on eBay. So like I said, guys, run sales if you are having a slow time in your business because it really brings in more sales with the sale and then it brings them more traction in general. And I find I get a lot of, I find I get a lot of full price sales as well when I run sales on eBay. So like I said, we have two more pieces. One is a hat, which was again, a really recent pickup. This sold for $25 on Poshmark, on eBay. I'm sorry, on eBay. The buyer, I think it was the same buyer, was messaging me on Mercari about it and then sent me a $35 offer. I accepted, the payment did not go through. They did it again, the payment did not go through. They messaged me and said, is this still available? I said, yes it is. I accepted your offer twice, but the payment failed. And then two minutes later, I got an offer on eBay for $25. I went ahead and accepted. Again, a bins find. And it is this, Debra is the brand. It's like a church, fancy church hat, like a fancy hat. So these pieces can go upwards of like $40. Again, when somebody sent me a $25 offer on eBay, I gladly accepted. And the last thing we need is right here, something I would not pick up again. This piece I got like a year ago as well. 
Sometimes I will pick up hard good items. Most times I do not anymore. But I saw this. I think I got this from a normal thrift store. And comps were really good when I originally got it. And it did sell for $35. I think I only paid like $2 for it. But again, it took forever. I'm not going to take it out of here. But it's a big pasta bowl serving dish. So probably would not pick up pick this up again because it's breakable and I had to store it for over a year. So yeah guys, thanks so much for watching. This probably is a shorter video, but I just wanted to pull one day's worth of sales with you guys. I normally pull my weekend sales when I do videos like this, but I figured this would switch it up a little bit and can show you how running a sale on eBay or Poshmark really helps and really brings in traffic. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good weekend or had a good weekend and I hope you have a good week coming up and I hope to see you in my next video.